Hi, Claudia. Hi, Angie. Thank you, Claudia. Hi, Serena. Okay. Hey, I, oh, thanks. Well, I, I didn't know. I was checking to see if that got posted. Sorry for short notice. Alan Elder, hello. Hi, David. Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you. Some testosterone in the house. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Nam de Plume. TNR is the answer. Hi, Linda P. Billy Gomez, hello. Sandra G. McAllister, hello. Flo67, Sharon, Cheryl, Luann, Claudia, back again. Oh, glad you guys are here. So, a thousand subscribers. I should say something. Thank you. Thank you very much. These were. I have a friend that says everybody's ears are <laughs> not straight. Hi, Tessie. <laughs> okay, hi, Sharon. Sharon's got um, a new. No, never mind. That. <laughs> That's somebody else. Hi, Sharon. I was gonna, I was gonna uh, give you a new rescue puppy. Hi, Lisa. She has um, her. You may see her on the channel. Her name is Judy, and she has a hyphenated last name that has a lot of syllables that are uh, close to you. So that's who I. Uh, First thought, my brain mixed up. Okay, just so you're just listening, Spencer Moore, not hopefully. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I put the bacon grease on my neck. What is that? I saw some thumbnail the other day with somebody having Crisco. I have never claimed to use Crisco. It's bacon grease or nothing. Thank you. Thank you very much, TNR. Checking to see if I had any. No, nope, I guess I don't have any lip gloss to touch up. We'll just have to go with it. Oh, I just realized why I can't find a pen and or reading glasses anywhere in the house. I have three pair of glasses and about ten pens up here. Oh, and a cord I can use. Okay, let me just uh, quickly show you something. In case my um, my friend, my good friend Buick Invicta is watching, and I know she is. She just hates it when I do my little crafts. So just for her, no, not really, just, just for you. I want to show you what I've been working on. These are this Dollar Tree uh, carvable pumpkins. They're, um, they're hollow. And this little stem is just on a toothpick and it, it comes right off. It comes right off and then you can cut a hole there. And I'll show you what I've been making with them. These little poofy fabric. Uh oh. Some hot glue. <laughs> so, little poofy fabric pumpkins. I covered those little carvo carvable pumpkins with a little uh, light layer of batting and fabric. And that's why you just, you just make that hole. And all you have to do is just pull the fabric up and just stick it all in that hole. And then for the stems, I used uh, air dry clay <laughs> and I just, I just uh, kind of shaped them. And then I used, they look a little like witches hats, <laughs> but I was going for pumpkin stems. And then, oh no, that one looks like snowflake y'all. So it, after the clay dried for 24 hours, I just used some Mod Podge and glitter. 
going to start all the fall crap, I guess, September 1st. And then I'll show you the last little thing I made yesterday. This is one of those uh, brown, they, they look like, I think they're like paper mache. They're paper, they're like craft paper. Um, and I just painted it and put that little floral on it. Oh, and Buick really takes offense when I do anything with a floral. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Since I know people have to go, I'll get right into Tessie sent me uh, an email that Glenda sent her. Oh, I just love it when I have Glenda's own words. This is the one, this is what I want to read you next. See what I've been doing yesterday. Oh, dad gummit, Tessie. Sorry, I should have had. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'll read it. Um, antibiotics cost $250. What do you have, the plague? Oh, sorry, Sandy. Well, we're just, we're just getting started. This is an email that Glenda sent Tessie. I'll read it uh, clear through before we discuss. From Glenda. And the subject is, what in the world is going on? And she says, I am sorry that you've been attacked by some of my subs. Please understand, they are not evil or malicious. My channel, myself, my family, and my subs are under evil attack by the devil. It has been unrelenting since January, and the reason my subs attacked you, we've had enough of Laura and her hate mongers. Laura sent me filthy, threatening emails, then an entire box of rotten food for Valentine's Day to ridicule me for making a video about being hungry. She made a channel called Dumpster Diving by the Sea, where she stole my videos and made clips mocking me. YouTube took it down for copyright violation. She printed my dead son's obituary in her comments and the newspaper article about my son dying in a car crash. She wrote a letter to my landlord telling him disgusting lies about me and sent letters to my neighbors. I want to adopt a puppy and Laura called the SPCA and told them I'm an animal abuser. She located my ex-husband from 50 years ago and called him to ask what kind of wife I was. She gave a form letter to her hate mongers to send to every advertiser on my channel saying I'm a scam artist and they will no longer buy their products. They attacked the Facebook page of the Scarfy company with filth and vile comments and the owner had to shut down her Facebook page. It's much worse than a cat fight on YouTube. There's much more destruction she's done. You just have no idea. Please don't go back there except to report her channel and videos. I saw your question, Christianity. Wait, yeah. I saw your question, Christianity, on my channel. My channel is an autobiography of my life growing up in South Miss and till today, told in funny little short stories. I made a video of the creek where I was baptized when I was 12 years old. I talk about God and how I worked the 12 step program and recovered from drug addiction. I read my Bible in a video I did about Laura's demonic forces attacking me. 
A sub of mine asked me to ask my subs to pray for her, and I read a verse from Isaiah. So yes, I do discuss religion occasionally, but it's not my main focus. My car is 11 years old and was used when I bought it. The jacket I wear was bought at Burlington on sale for $19.99. I don't waste money. I hope I answered your questions. Email me. Glinda. Interesting. Let's go over some of Madam's lies. She cannot tell the truth. If her lips are moving, she's lying. Despite the fact that the main uh, fact is Tessie caught on to her, left was exposed to the reality of Glinda and her friends. And Glinda is trying desperately to get her back in the fold because she knows she's influential. She has just as many subscribers as Glinda does. The only difference is her subscribers are actually active. You have um, maybe 1% active participants in your subs. Okay. I'm so sorry that you've been attacked by some of my subs. Please understand they are not evil or malicious. Really? My channel, myself, my family, and my subs are under evil attack by the devil. Okay, I'm going to take this to mean that I'm the devil. Uh, your channel, yourself, your family. Please, Glenda, you know that's a lie. My subs. Are under evil attack by the devil. It has been unrelenting since January. And the reason my subs attack you. We've had enough of Laura and her hate mongers. Laura sent me filthy threatening emails. Linda Sullivan. That is a lie. I don't say or write filth. I have never threatened you. You said on a video that you feel like your life has been threatened. Oh my God. Can you not? You don't have anything in your basket of deplorables. Have nothing, nothing on me but the truth. I have never said anything on this channel that wasn't the truth. You guys, in response, you just make up crap out of whole cloth. Where's the goods on me? Where? They don't exist. So you just make up things. I slur my words. I rock back and forth. I have vodka in my red solo cup. You know uh, I've been drinking. Oh, somebody, I got a screenshot today. Somebody was drinking with me. All night, and then my husband came home and threw me down the stairs. So we were drinking upstairs. Interesting. You just you just make up BS to counter truth. Where was I? That was when you said I sent you. Sent you filthy, threatening emails. Liar, show them. Yeah. Are they from the same address as the one who made racist remarks about your grandson? Liar. Then an entire box of rotten food for Valentine's Day. Well, we know what a liar you are there. To ridicule me for making a video about being hungry. Uh, first of all, I submit that you haven't been hungry in 50 years. And that's giving you benefit of doubt. I made fun of you for saying you're starving. 
and I make fun of you for saying you dumpster dive for food. I have told you before, I've told you back in January, the offer still stands. Show me a video of you hauling your fat ass in a dumpster and I send $500 to your PayPal account. She made a channel called Dumpster Diving by the Sea where she stole my videos and made clips mocking me. YouTube took it down for copyright violation. YouTube took it down because you claimed it was copyrighted and I didn't fight it. And by the way, that's the only channel that has ever been taken down. Not four. Like you like to subscribe, tell your subscribers, oh, I had four channels taken down. You're so damn powerful. Take down this one. You're so powerful. I mean, gee, if you already did four, what's five? No, it was one based on lies that I didn't fight. Yes, I mocked you. <laughs> now, what's this? She printed my dead son's obituary in her comments and the newspaper article about my son dying in a car crash. I never printed your son's obituary in any comments. That's a lie. I believe I read it. I believe I read it online. And I did read the article about the car crash. I never printed it anywhere. I may have seen a link printed somewhere that I clicked on. I don't recall doing any searches. I believe that, yeah, somewhere, somewhere, sometime, not necessarily on this channel, not necessarily not, probably could be on another one that, this channel's only been existent since January. No. What was it, honey? You just sent it to me today. June 19th. So, yeah, at some point, I think I saw a link and clicked on it. So what? You talk about him all the time. Wouldn't you want people to know the story? Never printed any obituary. I spoke in a stream that's on here right now called Glenda Sullivan Come to Jesus, I pointed out that his funeral was not celebrated by a Southern Baptist preacher and not by a minister of gospel that's even was even very well known to you or your son at all. I find that odd as a practicing Southern Baptist. You haven't said anything about it. She wrote a letter to my landlord telling him disgusting lies about me. I wrote a letter to your landlord, Glenda Sullivan, directing him to your words. I never tell anybody any disgusting lies about you. I may quote some things that you say, if they happen to be disgusting lies, well, that's on you, madam. Now, what did I tell your landlord? I told him I had the printout there of your intention to get a puppy. Your offer, the offer by your alter ego, Zeus, to get up to get a puppy for you. And um, then all of all, all of the rat pack telling you how you could perpetrate a fraud on John by passing this puppy off as an emotional support animal. I simply wrote him a letter letting him see what your plans were and he could go read it for himself. Tell him what, what, what disgusting lies about you. Where was it? She wrote a letter to my landlord telling him disgusting lies about me. Okay, I it's it's not me, right? You 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 guys get it. I had your landlord, John. I referred him to your own videos so he could get the information from you, not from me. He has a right to know if you're planning on perpetrating this service animal thing, or at least what the genesis of all the plans were. He has a right to know. I'm a landlord. If I had, you know, something shady like that going on, I'd believe me, I appreciate it very much. Um, 
being brought into the loop. I want to adopt a puppy and Laura called the SPCA and told them I'm an animal abuser. That's a lie. Why do you have to, if you're, it's not just when your lips are moving, if you're typing on your little phone or your computer. Amber called the SPCA and told them you were an animal abuser. Let me again refer you back to your own flapping gums, madam, and your own channel. You wrote in your comments to someone that you volunteer at the Monmouth County SPCA and you had your eye on a little Jitsu tzu that you were planning on adopting. Well, you know that there's a lot of animal lovers here. You know that because you're trying to twink with us right now. And I'm only going to get excited about that when I need to. Right now, I think you're bluffing. I think you're lying. But anyway, back to the SPCA. Yeah, you said you volunteered there and you were thinking about adopting this dog. There are a whole lot of people on this channel and a couple in particular that are really involved in the animal welfare, animal rights, and animal rescue community. And I didn't do a thing. I just got a report. Someone here on this channel, some really smart, um, hardworking person that has pool and juice in this community made some calls and found out that no, you never, ever volunteered there, ever. As you know, you've given your name and your address and your, you, you've given your name and your birth date. Your address is public record. And thanks to you, do you even realize you did this, you dummy? You even showed your driving license number on your channel when you were you know, begging for your subscribers to pay your speeding ticket that you got from uh, taking, having to go to the hospital to see baby Ife or Ise. I don't, I forgot which one. Okay. I'm sorry. No offense. I, their names are very similar and I can't remember which is which, but you had to go see the baby. And so you got a speeding ticket. Oh, and I just don't have the money to pay it. And here it is. Here it is. And look, and you can see how much it is right here. Oh, and look, and you can see my driving license number right here. So anyway, all that information was used to verify that you have never, ever volunteered there. And people in the know were referred to your channel um, specifically describing where you live, your uh, crimes that you admit to, but mainly your living circumstances there, tiny one room apartment, no fenced yard, uh, they could go see the video where you talked about leaving your dead pet out on the road and driving by his poor body every day with your children. Um, possibly they saw where the one of your subscribers confessed to you in the comments that she killed her cat and you told her she needed to just get over it and forgive herself. Anyway, based on what you have said on your channel, I think, I don't know for sure, I think that you've been placed on the do not adopt list. Where were we? Where were, we were in your pack of lies here on one little video to Tessie. She located my ex-husband from 50 years ago and called him to ask what kind of wife I was. Really? You can't possibly believe that. No, I did not 
call your ex-husband. Ma'am, I sent him a letter telling him about your channel and referring him to the videos that are about him. He has the right to know. Anybody has the right to know. When people put crap out them on the internet, like for instance, I have DUIs, I have a right to know. I have a right to do something about it. He has a right to know. Maybe he wants to do something about it. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But he has a right to know since you identify him and ask him what kind of wife you were as, as if I would care. And second of all, we know exactly what kind of wife you were. You laid it all out on your channel. You were you were hot to trot, searching for love in high school. You burned through your tiny little class and had to date out of town, according to you. Uh, you got your heart broken by somebody else's boyfriend and were in such a hurry to marry. You finally married little Scotty, who you say you never liked. You didn't like him because he was a teetotaler and he didn't smoke. Hmm, sound like such a good girl. But somehow, uh, after you were, I mean, I don't, you can't even say you've been jilted or broken up with or, or something. Because, you know, basically all Harold did was what Harold did. You were, you, he might have been your high school sweetheart. You sure weren't his. And so he marries his real girlfriend and you're just out there. You got your little feelings hurt. You were embarrassed and you had to find somebody to marry you. Now, how did you get this college student to marry you? I don't know. I don't know. There's been some speculation about it. And uh, it might be one of those really old, old stories. Those old funny stories. In fact, you should tell it. Yeah, you told you said that you only married little Scotty to get out of the house because your mom wanted you out of the house. Why haven't you ever said why did little Scotty marry you? That would be interesting. I bet a lot of your subscribers would like to know why did he marry you? Why did John marry you? So anyway, the, back to the kind of wife you were. Uh, you somehow got this student to. Uh, marry you much to the chagrin of his mother apparently but then you thought you'd trade up with the um assistant manager of the dime store what was it married and um so basically the next thing you know you're having an affair with him and the next thing you know you're shacking up and then you uh, got a divorce So no, I never called him, never asked what kind of wife you were. I gave a form letter to my hate mongers to send to every advertiser on my channel saying I'm a scam artist and they will no longer buy their products. Well, you don't know what the letter says. And actually, I didn't give it away. But if anyone wants it, email email me and... Um, and I will give it to you. It's very sincere. I only send it to a subscriber where I, I mean, an advertiser where I do use the product or would use the product and let them know the reasons why I won't be, while I why I will quit using it or never consider it. And, and I am sincere about it. If I see an ad for a product I don't use, uh, I, I don't get involved. I only write to products that I do use and am willing to boycott or products that I honestly would consider. But now I won't. They attacked the Facebook page of the Scarfy Company with filth and vile comments and the owner had to shut down the Facebook page. I will, Serena. Filthy and vile comments. Well, some people might consider it. I wrote, I didn't see anything any worse than what I wrote. And I wrote, I find it ironic that 
you would want a serial shoplifter to be associated with a product with hidden pockets. Apparently, the irony wasn't lost on them. I didn't see any any other comments that were worse than that. The only comments I ever saw were people letting them know you're a criminal because it's probably not likely, un unlike you, you, you've avoided filling out uh, applications because there's always that pesky little question is, are you a convicted felon? So you always have to do these gray area things. So I doubt very seriously that the lady knew of your criminal background and I made her aware. That's gonna happen, Finda. Afraid that's gonna follow you. You made that record. You're a convicted felon. You are shunned by society. You deserve our scorn. And you get mine. And you, I have a right to know what convicted felons are around me. And I make sure I do know. So there's nothing wrong. Uh, you, you're supposed to self-report if you if you apply for a job. You're supposed to self-report on a rental application, as you know. You may not vote. You may not serve on a jury. There's there's a there's a cost associated with being a convicted felon. There's much more destruction. She's done. You just have no idea. Well, I don't have any idea. And then you just skimmed over. I saw your question, Christianity. I don't really know what you're trying to say by there, madam. I saw your question, Christianity, on my channel. I saw you question Christianity on your channel. Even that, no, that doesn't make sense. My channel is an autobiography of my life growing up in South Mississippi till today, told in funny little short stories. Well, you haven't told one of those short stories in quite a while. I bet it's been over a month. Let's see, where do we leave off? Jill was just born. You made a video of the creek where you were baptized when you were 12. You talk about God and how I worked the 12-step program. Really? Has anybody ever seen her discuss, um, yeah, in past videos, but let me ask, uh, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard her discuss the 12 step program? I've heard her say she's gone to meetings. I have never heard her mention the 12 step programs other than I assume that when she was living in the halfway house, this was part this was part of it there. She mentioned going to meetings. But other than that, I mean, that's over. Just like she was the, the day she got her parole or or um whatever it's called, when she got out, that was that was the day she quit uh going to 12 step programs. I don't know. Maybe she had to go any when her probation. She might have had to go to some when she was under probation. But believe me, if they aren't mandated, she didn't go. And um, apparently, she hasn't had anything to do with the Southern Baptist Church since she got out of that halfway house either. I read my Bible in a video I did about Laura's demonic forces attacking me. A sub of mine asked me to ask subs to pray for her. And I read a verse from Isaiah. So yes, I do discuss religion occasionally, but it's not my main focus. Really? Well, you went through a little period there, but, you know, maybe it was about as short-lived as your healthy eating plan, but you were definitely um, on a roll there as Sister Glinda for a while. Yeah, I know.
Let's see what I ha what else I have. I had a couple more things. Oh, got some information on my happy mail. I know who read it. I mean, I know who wrote it and I know who mailed it. And they're not the same person. They're both names that would be familiar to you and um, more later. But I know who wrote it and I know who sent it. Oh, that's that info right there. Oh, this is somebody else who sent me an email from Glenda. I thought you knew about that crazy woman sending me the rotten food. Her channel name is Bowhead Laura. She's a very well-to-do woman married to an engineer who works for, she mentions the name my, cousin, my husband's retired from. She's made it her obsession to hate me and try to destroy me, my life, and my YouTube channel. Her name is Laura Schilling, and she and her husband live in a prestigious golf club community in Las Vegas. In fact, she did another hate-filled video about me today. I did hate-filled videos about you, huh? I'll forward the rotten food video to you now. I received it on Valentine's Day. I love you, Glenda. How how are your um how how's it hurting your subscribers, Tessie? I mean, I know they don't want to see um things and I guess you're A few of them support. Yeah, I, I could see. I could definitely see you guys having crossover. Oh, yeah. Turn on. If, if you say anything, not even something derogatory, just anything questioning, anything that is not, you know, completely ultra flattering to Glinda. She takes offense and her group takes offense. Yeah, I would say I, my guess would be people that watch both of your channels. If it came down to them making a choice, it's not going to be Glenda. I saw Brad that um, Phyllis put out a video. It's on my to watch list. It's like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah, I've got, and let, let me um, break in right here for a second, because I want to say to you all, I got a, a video today and, and she's here and I could tell she was just frustrated with, she's been going to these channels and defending me and I appreciate it, but it's, it's taken a toll on her and I, you know, you guys don't, don't burn yourself out, stay, uh, stay in it for the the main motive these people are they're not going to distract me and i i could not possibly care what they say about me what what are they going to say i have i don't have any skeletons in my closet i don't live in a glass house they like to say everyone does every you know they live in a world where everyone has some deep dark secrets no it's just it might just be because you do and you associate with people who do no 
I'm sure that there's a lot of people I know that have, they might, they may have some things in their past that they wish they could uh, do over, but not some deep, dark secret. I want you to be as strong as me too, Joy, and um, you will be. Bony finger. <laughs> it does. Let them tell it to each other. They're creating all these little channels to um, amuse each other, apparently. So let them do it. Tessie, I I really um I've I've really been enjoying your channel and let's see who if Joy is still here I I like yours I think you got a good a good format there uh, a short sweet check in and get somebody get somebody tuning in every day and the the shorter the videos are the more people will come back. I don't know. I, um, uh, Brooke, I'm answering the question about does Asbury Park have a high crime rate? I know when I was looking at um, Glenda's records on that Truth Finder site, which is the site she recommended, the only reason I ever went to that one is be, because of when I did the search on there and it matched up with what I already found. And there is a section on there that has the, the sex offenders that live nearby. And the it was just like all red. I remember that. And then there's, you know, because I wanted to print out just the certain part. There was, you know, there would have been like six color pages of sex offenders if I hadn't done anything to it. You're addicted to Bluebell. Oh, I wish you hadn't mentioned it. I'm, I'm going to have to. Dried. I've been having too much, and I I try so hard not to eat sugar, but I discovered that soft serve ice cream is actually relatively low in sugar and very low in sodium, and I've been kind of I kind of got a soft serve thing going on. It's not nearly as good as Bluebell. I go to like McDonald's or Burger King. Ben and Jerry's, are you, uh, Hemingway, are you a Yankee? Carvel. Does Carvel have a different name in other parts of the country? You get a half gallon of Ben and Jerry's? You worked as a soda jerk? I worked at, at a Baskin Robbins. And you know, when I first got the job, she, uh, the owner said that everybody could have three scoops a day. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so much. Uh, there's no way I would ever eat three scoops. I was in high school. Then. There's no way I would eat three scoops of ice cream. No, by the, you know, by the end of the summer, I was having five. I was going over my limit. It was that ice cream. I saw somebody been licking something. At Woolworth behind the food counter. I used to love those drugstore. Oh, I just loved setting up on those chairs and 
getting that drugstore lunch food. Bye, Teeny. Well, Brad Sins, what did you learn? Locks on the doors of ice cream. <gasps> Have you noticed how they've been um, taking security uh, steps toward the tide? Is that everywhere? They've been putting like some stores put the sensors on them or some people lock it up. Apparently tide's a big. Oh, hey, Glenda, what's the deal with tide? I understand tide. Um, people steal it. How many um, Tide Pods can you put in a Scarfie? Hi, Susan. <laughs> she wraps what the Tide Pod. <laughs> is there any way? I wonder if, if is there any way you can um, abuse a Tide Pod? Now that might be all of the things I had here that I haven't read to you. Oh, is Lone Stranger here? I haven't seen her. Oh, I guess I guess I I guess I forgot to uh, get somebody to play the part of Lone while I'm on here. Oh, back to the name. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll just do this real quick. Back to the name of this video. Man, she was cussing up a shite storm, wasn't she? So what do you think about um, this granny, uh, was it Granny Hilda? I wonder if it's real. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I guess this happened last night. Somebody posted over there that they've been giving her uh, $50 a month for the last year that ends next, next month. Glenda pinned it and then said it was a scam and used the S word like 10 times. Oh, of course they said someone made it up here. I've, I didn't hear anything. I, I did have several people uh, uh, text me and email me letting me know about it. No, I, I don't I don't know. Oh, I hear you guys talking about thunder shirts. Those things are good. Did it somebody said did you get the email Southern Girl? I don't know, Southern girl. I will go back and and um, look. Yeah, I don't know if it's real or not. You know, it very well could be um, 
you know, just somebody jerking her chain. It's nobody that I know of. But the thing is, Glenda does have this history of when she uses someone up, she denies it. If Once she realized she's not going to get any more money out of that person, if they say anything on her channel, you're, uh, you're a liar. I keep records. That didn't happen. Prove it. The burden of proof is on you. With a Glinda mask for Halloween, surely they already have one. Yeah, and then, so what was the point? You, you'd think, like, if she recognized this as, I don't know, if she, like, it seems to me like if she's going through the comments, sees somebody that she's never known before, never seen that name before, it's not familiar to it, and then that person's claiming this center $50, wouldn't you just delete? Why would you pin it? And Curse up a storm like that. You sent her $20 last Christmas. Did you send me uh, something from PayPal, Southern Girl? Might have been something. Yeah, Sandy, I, what I'm thinking of now, because see, now she has the big announcement that she's going to make in uh, about, around September 1st. Now, don't you just know this will delay Zeus's plans, who was planning on coming out around then, wasn't he? So now, of course, that'll have to be delayed because she'll be all busy with her big surprise, which may be that she's moving. I mean, wouldn't it be great if, if um, her landlord gave her notice? <laughs> Doubt. I would love that. I'm just saying. You can't wait for the announcement. Oh, that's all. That's okay, Grandma. You can check up. Yeah, and then, and the, but then she decided. You know, obviously her little mind was working. I'll just pin it, and then, oh, wait a minute. No, that's a bad idea. I'll. Uh, I don't know. Nobody can keep those stories straight, Tessie. Yeah, she's pretty much said in the in the comments that that that's what it is. She's moving. Oh, sorry, Grandma. <laughs> That's one weirdo. Oh, I just love that. Even even as tiny as it is on the computer, I just love your your thumbnail of that little schnauzer. <laughs> Another poet, and she knows it.
I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I was John, of course, I don't know. I've never been to the area, but it seems to me like if it's true with all those tourists, I would get rid of Riff Raff like Glinda, clean that place up, furnish it cute, and put it on, what do you call it? Airbnb. What is this scene? Yeah, the good thing, um, thank you guys. You've been doing the rundown. I haven't had to watch the last three videos, I guess. I, I didn't watch any on my trip. So I, so I haven't watched the, the, and I won't. I don't have to because y'all have let me know what's going on. But I watched the, um, I did not watch the pecan pie, the birthday party. And there, there is the, the oh the McDonald's uh, breakfast. Lone went after who? Uh, full barrel flow. She, I I think that's the only way she uh, does things. Yeah, Patricia, that's a question. Oh, is there an is there a new one past the McDonald's that I need to um, pin? Uh, yeah. T well, Tessie, we watch it on. What oh, What are you going to link? I don't know if you're talking. You can put any link in. It'll just it'll be sorted out. You know how the comments are. It'll be s sorted out, and then I can. Approve it, but we're talking about. Um, we were talking about Glenda's videos. We watch them on a, a site that supposedly doesn't give reviews. Invidious, yeah. How did I let you uh, sneak by, Alan Elder, without a wrench? <laughs> Hi, Keila. Now quit writing hi. Come on, you're writing hi too many times. You got to go now. Pl plugging for who? Glenda? She must have sent him some more money because she certainly got uh, her $20 worth. In video.us. Yeah, so what, you go you go there, um, Liz in Florida, and... Oh, yeah, I haven't given you one, Patricia. Okay, I'll look for... Oh, here you go. So you go to that site and then you just put in Glenda Sully and it'll come up. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. It's it it came on that. Okay, Serena, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, you guys like to hear this every time. Ooh, I gotta go back and read this. Somehow yesterday, I was I was busy all day yesterday. I got something else to read to you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, did I already read it to you? Did I already, did I already read you the 
comments about Marco's daughter? Show me my voice messages. You have at least 25 voicemail messages. No. Show me my voice memos. Okay, I think it's this. Love me, and they hate you, and they're sick of you, and I am sick of you. So I'm warning you, you had better lay off. You've done enough damage, you crazy psycho woman. Go see a mental health professional. You need help. I mean, I am far perfect compared to you. What I've done in my past is nothing compared to what you're doing right here and now. At least I'm not still out there shoplifting and committing sins. You are. You're disgusting and you're a piece of crap. And you don't even deserve to walk on the earth or to breathe the same air that we breathe. So knock it off, crazy psycho. I wonder if something happened to the chat. Okay, this says I'm still streaming, but the chat has stopped and it says unable to connect to chat. So I don't know if you guys are able to chat or if just I can't. Okay, I hope you guys are still able to chat. I can't see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, I don't think I told you about, I don't think I told you this about Marco's daughter. You know that I've been in contact with Marco's daughter uh, lately and his grandson. And she was not there. She did not work there in 2012. She had uh, she had already long been gone by 2012. So she lied when she said she didn't work there. Um, she did. And she lied when she said it was 2012. It was not. But this is from one of her videos. Um, I sent this yesterday. I sent this to... Marco's daughter and grandson. And let me, I'll tell you this about the daughter, because this is Glenda talking about the daughter here. The daughter isn't someone I would want angry at me. Uh, she's a lovely lady, but um, I would say she and Glenda had their hands full with each other. But anyway, here's what Glenda said in her own comments to one of her subscribers. She fired me because I bought Cottonelle toilet paper instead of the cheap brand. But she bought herself a Porsche Boxster and a brand new Mercedes. Of course, she needed the Porsche to drive to the McDonald's in the next town because the tax was 1% cheaper for her oatmeal breakfast. Yeah, how she likes to put everybody that has anything down and then i guess she was she was writing with a subscriber who i have not seen over there in quite some time i well actually i, I never i never saw her because i only saw this post 8 months after it was put on but the 
the sub was called Live Authentic Live International. Live Authentic Live International. Or Live Authentic Live International. And she writes, Glenda Sully, I guess that's why she is rich and we're poor. To which Glenda Sully replies, She's only rich because her father worked his whole life as a civil engineer. He saved and invested his money wisely. And then the rest of it, which I am not going to read on the internet, it's on the internet on uh, Glenda Sully's channel. But she goes on to talk about Mr. Marco's late wife, if you can believe that. Yes, the mother of. Jacqueline. This woman is a piece of work. Okay, you guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you're able to um, chat with each other or not. My, my chat is completely gone and I won't know until I log off. So I'll see you on, I'll see you on the channel. Thanks. For today and let's see what is today Wednesday maybe we can um well the next live will be when I have something to report bye bye for now